Hey there, Leo. Good afternoon and welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. Welcome to your May tarot reading. I'm excited to connect with my Leo soul family members today. Leo, I hope you guys are doing great. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, April the 27th. Time on my end is about 11.20 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So Leo, let's talk about your May forecast. Uh, first thing that I want to do, I'm going to give you some great information today, Leo. Whether your sun sign is Leo or your moon or rising sign is Leo, you may have Leo in your Venus. Some of you may be here checking up on a Leo. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this reading, trust those energies, Leo. And if you're not Leo, trust those energies. Uh, if you're here, you're here for a reason. So I'm confident that there's going to be some energies that you need to be made aware of, maybe some messages that you need to be made aware of. So first thing that I want to do, Leo, is I'm going to put the spotlight on you. I want to talk about Leo energy. Just go through and describe kind of who you are, what, what the Leo energy represents in by way of the zodiacs. Uh, so we're going to spend just a few minutes on that. And if you're Leo, pay particular attention to these energies because look, you may see some of these energies come up in your tarot reading, you know, your weaknesses, your strengths, your likes, your dislikes. Just be aware of these because I feel like it'll be helpful information for you. And then I want to look at your May astrological forecast. So we look at May and we see which planets are going to move, be moving into which specific houses impacting Leo's energy. Uh, and I'm going to go through the month and point out the dates when these shifts happen. And I'll do the best job that I can to describe these energies in terms of what they're going to bring you. And look, Leo, at the end of the day, I mean, it happens regardless, right? Whether you're aware of these energies or not. They're planetary. So I feel like if you do have an awareness stepping into the month, I mean, that's how I am in my life, right? If I, if I have a better idea of what the path looks like for me that I may be stepping into, then I can be better prepared. I know like, all right, what things are going to work for me this month? What things are going to be working in terms of resistance? So I feel like it's great information. Uh, Leo, that gives us a big picture look energetically at what's taking place for you. And then we're going to hone in and we're going to do a tarot reading where we're going to see how many of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for you. So, Leo, let's get started here. Um, what I want to emphasize with all of you is with the astrological forecast, if it were me, right, and I'm speaking personally right now, what I do is my rising, my sun sign is Aquarius, my moon and rising are Taurus. Right, so when I'm watching the astrological forecast, I go to my rising sign energy every time. I'll watch the others, but really it's that rising sign energy that, that's kind of resonating strongest with me at the time. So if you follow tarot at all, right, and your sun sign is Leo, but you know, your rising sign may be Libra, then look, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna watch the beginning of the Libra reading so I can see that astrological forecast because I feel like those energies are gonna resonate stronger with you. Anyways, just a little tip of advice right there. Um, how do you know whether or not you're a Leo? Some of you may be new to tarot, new to the channel. So if your birthday falls between the dates of July the 23rd and August the 22nd, it means that your sun sign is Leo. And Leo, you guys, are you're kind of like the darlings of the Zodiac. I was, I was sitting here reading through these energies beforehand, you know, and I kind of had that. And that is not a bad thing, you know. This is, a, it's just, I mean, if you're Leo, hey, why not embrace this energy? Uh, some of my favorite personalities in life are Leo personalities. So, in fact, my grandson is a Leo, and I just absolutely love that little boy. Okay, Leo. So, if there are three terms that describe Leo's energy... You guys would be considered the creative, right? Fifth house energy, right? Where you create, where you manifest. Uh, you would be considered the romantic, which is pretty fantastic. And you would also be considered the hero, right? Leo's love to show up and be the hero. And what a beautiful thing. And look, Leo, here's the thing I want to keep in mind here. I want to point out, I'm pulling this information from an astrological website. I think it's astrology.com. I think astrology, maybe zodiac signs.com. Anyway, so these aren't my opinions. These are the opinions of astrologers. I'm just sharing with you. And I point that out because, you know, sometimes it's like, especially if I do the, your greatest overall compatibility, I just share with you what they say, right? And somebody noticed one that's like, oh my gosh, they're completely opposite of each other. I mean, it's not my opinion. It's the opinion of the astrologers. So 
Here we go, Leo. So your element is fire, your fire sign, along with Aries and Sagittarius. Your colors that resonate strong with Leo energy, makes sense, gold, yellow, and orange, right? Think of gold, you know, that it's almost like royalty in a way. Purple, maybe, as well. Uh, favorite day of the week, Sunday, which makes sense. Sunday, you're ruled by the sun. And I love Sundays. It's my favorite day of the week, too. Ruling planet, if you're Leo, is the sun. Greatest overall compatibility, Aquarius and Gemini. Interesting. So, Leo, your strengths, creativity, right? You love creative ideas. You're passionate generous you're warm-hearted cheerful and humorous you guys have a great sense of humor you love to laugh and who doesn't uh weaknesses and leo don't get offended by these arrogant stubborn self-centered lazy inflexible look again don't get offended i mean you don't have to be a leo to, to, to take on some of these characteristics i take on some of those characteristics and i don't have a lot of leo in me um but yeah those would be the weaknesses for leo Leo likes theater, taking holidays, vacations, right? Being admired, expensive things. Leo loves that. I mean, you guys have great taste. Bright colors, and I love bright colors too. And having fun with friends. There's that fifth house energy showing up. Leo dislikes being ignored. Uh, facing a difficult reality, right? I mean, who, who likes complications in life? Not being treated like a king or a queen. And really, I mean, Leo, you guys are the darlings of the Zodiac in many ways. So, wh look, why not? If, if, if people could treat you like a king or a queen, if that's the world that you want to create, absolutely. Why not? What a beautiful world you're creating for yourself. Okay, Leo, let's get into your astrological forecast now. And I want to. we're going to talk about May and just see what's happening planetarily for you. So, on the 4th of of May, you have the planet Mars moving into your 11th house. On the 9th, you have the planet Venus, the planet of attraction and love, also moving into your 11th house. The 11th house is about your extended community. It's also the, the house of all of your hopes and dreams. So Mars brings you energy, right? Venus brings you attraction. It brings you love in the 11th house extended community. So Leo, some of you at this time, you may find yourselves, right, wanting to reach out. Maybe I want to extend my community. Maybe I want more friends. So I'm going to reach out and I'm going to connect with like-minded individuals. This is a perfect time if you want to extend your community. I mean, what does your community consist of? Organizations, groups. So a beautiful time to, you know, you don't have to join an organization or a group, but why not check them out? See what's out there. See what others are doing that may resonate with you. Again, being able to expand to extend your extended community of like-minded uh, individuals, like-minded soul family members. Puts a focus on manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, Leo. Okay, on the 11th, you have a new moon happening in your 10th house of work and career or wherever it is that you spend the bulk of your day. So look, new moon taking place in your 10th house okay so if i'm leo and i'm and i'm in I'm, I'm wanting to change my career or i'm wanting to land a career right or, or land a job something like that i can be investing energies right putting myself out there putting out resumes right? i have energies planetary energies working for me because i'm, I'm extending my community here uh, so this is a beautiful time to really network and put yourself out there with this 10th house energy Keep in mind, what seeds are you planting during the new moon? And then, you know, with those seeds, what's when the full moon takes place? Right? That's when the birthing happens, you know. So we plant the seeds in during the new moon, and then we harvest those seeds until the full moon comes around. All right, there's a little astrological lesson for you, Leo. On the 14th, you have the planet Jupiter moving into your 8th house uh, of expansion and beliefs. Excuse me, it's not the 8th house of expansion, it's the ninth house. So 8th house is Scorpio's energy. So these energies may bring some of you money, finance, and support from other people. So Leo, are you looking for an investment? Are you looking to have somebody invest in you? Or are you looking to have somebody promote you in some way? This is a beautiful time in the month of May to be able to put out those energies and have it manifest for you. 
Leo, on the 21st, you have the sun moving right back to your 11th house again. So the sun's coming into your 11th house of your extended community and it's shining a light on you, right? So beautiful time. Again, extending your community, reaching out, c connecting with other like-minded individuals, joining groups, joining organizations. If you're looking for a job, I'm putting my resume out there. I'm, I'm engaging in different discussions. I'm, I'm getting the word out that I'm looking for a job and, and I'm getting specific. I'm looking for this kind of job, this type of work. Be specific, Leo. Okay, on the 26th, you have a lunar eclipse taking place in your house, Leo. So we're right back to the fifth house. Uh, the fifth house of children, grandchildren, siblings, fifth house of creation, literally creating or creative ideas as well. It's also the house of having fun. So this is your house for sure, Leo. New possibilities to express yourself, possibly. Some of you may be changing your look entirely, like going in and like, I'm, I'm gonna do a total makeover. I'm gonna have some fun in life. I'm gonna change my look. I'm gonna change my appearance. Maybe I'm gonna change my wardrobe completely. Maybe I'm gonna redo my hair. Whatever this is, spotlights on you and you may be, find yourselves very popular at this time. And then Leo, on the 30th of May, you have the planet Mercury going retrograde and it goes retrograde until June the 23rd. So anytime Mercury goes retrograde, we're always reminded to save our hard drives, you know, back up our files. Mercury has a way when it goes retrograde of interfering with the electronics. So the other thing to keep in mind is if you're negotiating or in contracts, try to wrap those contracts up and get them signed before retrograde hits. Otherwise, if you don't, you may be redoing it again. That's kind of what Mercury retrograde does. Okay, Leo, let's get started with your tarot reading. I feel like we're gonna have a great tarot reading for you today. Uh, as I was preparing for your reading, I always have a little bit of music playing. And I have my selected playlist of a few hundred songs. But I always turn it over to my guides and I let them choose and select the song that I'm gonna listen, listening to going into your reading. And the song that my guides chose was Always Remember Us This Way. Uh, it's from the movie Bradley Cooper and uh, Lady Gaga. What's the movie called? I can't. Star is Born. Star is Born. Great song. Uh, it's actually, it's a, it's a beautiful song. And if you haven't ever had anybody with an amazing voice serenade that song to you, I recommend it. Very thrilling. Okay, Leo. So, beautiful energy taking us into your May comes to us as prosperity. So, again, 10th house energy, work, career. Um, Jupiter being promoted um, people investing in you possibly let's read a little bit about this energy Leo focus on the positive and more goodwill and more good will come give thanks for blessings and they will multiply prosperity begins in the mind and this is very true you know it's like look materially I may have a lot or I may have a little, right? But really what determines that energy of whether or not I'm living in abundance or I'm living in scarcity at the end of the day is my mind, right? It's all my perception. So beautiful energy of prosperity taking us into your May tarot reading. I'm going to use the Celtic Cross tarot spread for you, Leo. Uh, I want to pull two energies right now. And I'm going to pull these for my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland. This first energy coming in is going to come through as present energy for Leo. Maybe coming in as energy as the, for the matter at hand in the month of May. All right, I'm going to shuffle this again, Leo. I did the cut and I just sometimes, I almost always feel good about the cut, but I didn't feel good about that cut. So I want to reshuffle here. Sometimes you just have to, you just got to trust the tarot reader. Okay, I feel much better about that cut. Okay, new energy. Leo, energy taking you into the month of May. You have awaiting results. So some of you may be in the energy of waiting around for something. You may be waiting to hear news from somebody. 
You may be awaiting something financially as well. I feel like whatever this is that you're in the energy of waiting around for, it's something that you've invested in. Because here we see this growth that's taking place within them. You're certainly thinking about this right now, maybe intuitively. Some of you may have an intuitive understanding that something is coming to you. We're gonna get some clarification, Leo. Let's move down to the next energy. And this is gonna come in as the challenging energy for you. Challenging energy for Leo, please. Okay, the challenge is moon energy, confront. So here we see Pisces, Cancer energy. Some of you may be connected to a Pisces or a Cancer. They may be a challenge for you in your life, Leo. Uh, just, I'm having fun. But that may be the case for some of you. So the challenge is something's not clear to you. You know, it's, it's the moon energy, which is just the opposite of your energy, Leo, right? We like things being out in the open. I like the sun shining on me, feeling the warmth of my sun. I, when the sun's on me, I can see everything clearly. Everything makes sense to me. When I'm in the moon energy, I'm, having, I'm out at night, right? And I can't see things as clearly. I have to operate with the light of, that's provided to me by the moon. So in many ways, I have to get kind of primitive and trust my instincts to move my way around. Again, coming in as a challenging energy for you. Let's change decks, Leo. Let's move over to the crystal vision. And let's clarify awaiting results. Please clarify awaiting results for Leo. Okay, so interesting. These are these are hints and clues for you, Leo, right? In terms of exactly what this is you're awaiting results on. So here you have the Four of Pentacles, right? Which is representing the energy of scarcity. So in this energy of scarcity, it's representing the energy of the must-haves in life, right? Things that I'm clinging on to, that I'm hanging on to too tightly. I feel like, Leo, whatever is coming in for you, right, that you're waiting around for, you're waiting for a good reason because it's going to put you into the fool's energy. So some kind of opportunity possibly could be a relationship, could be a job opportunity. We're going to get some clarification, right? That's going to put you into this energy where I'm not in the energy of feeling scarcity at all. I'm feeling abundance. In fact, if anything, I feel alive. This is beautiful energy for you, Leo. Fifth house kind of energy. This is, you know, I just want to go out. I want to have some fun. I'm not thinking about the mountains that lie ahead of me. Um, I just want to feel free. So interesting. And these energies are coming in attached to awaiting results. So I feel like whatever whatever you're waiting for to come in is going to put you in, take remove you from this energy of not having enough to wow, I feel free. Interesting. Let's clarify. Confront for Leo, please. We have the Six of Wands. Uh, Six of Wands is a great energy. It's representing the energy of victory and of triumph. Again, connected to whatever this is that, that you're waiting for. Um, things aren't making a whole lot of sense right now. You're in this energy of you're in this energy of waiting, and like I said, you're having to. It's not right here. It's not out in the open. But I feel like if you're a Leo, you can feel it there. You can feel something coming, and, and whatever you, you can feel coming. You feel like it's going to shift your energy. It's going to bring you victory and triumph. Please tell us more about the Six of Wands for Leo. Okay, so here we have the Two of Cups coming in. So some of you may be in the energy of you may be in the energy of waiting for love, right? Maybe you need you could be waiting for somebody to show up in your life. You know, I feel like. If it's a person, you know, whoever this person is, you know, when you're with them, you're not in this energy of feeling like scarcity, like I'm, I'm going without, that they bring you, well, at the end of the day, they make you feel younger. Um, they make you feel young. They make you feel alive. They, they make you want to go out and have some fun. Interesting. All right, Leo, let's move down to your focus on energy. Tell us about focus on energy for Leo. 
Okay, so Leo, where should you be putting your focus exactly? King of Cups. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy right here. Uh, I call this energy the King of Love. I'm focused and I'm thinking about love. Not just love, but I've got a plan. Page of Pentacles says, I'm thinking about love. Page of Pentacles is saying, look, not only am I thinking about love, but I have a plan on how to put this love together. Maybe, what are you putting together, Leo? I mean, are you putting this connection together in your life? Soulmate kind of energies? I mean, always remember us this way. You know, that's the song that came out that I was listening to just for you, Leo. Some of you may want to pull up that song. Let's move over to this past energy for you. Tell us about the past for Leo. Past energy for Leo. Okay, so some of you may have attempted this relationship and this connection before. Right Here we have your, your energy showing up as the Strength card. It's coming in attached to the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is a limiting energy. Looking at the image on the card, she's, she, she appears to be somewhat bound, right? And she has a blindfold over her eyes. So she's in the energy of fear, right? I'm fearful of what I can't see. Coming in attached to the strength card, right? Attached to the past. Will I have the courage to take this leap of faith? To take, and I'm taking a leap, leap of faith because there's something that I can't see very clearly. We know that that's the case because, Leo, this is your challenge coming in for you this month. It's almost like, yeah, Leo, you're having to feel your way around in the month of May. Let's ask about strengths. Tell us about strengths for Leo, please. Leo strengths. We've got the two of wands coming in, showing up. The courageous risk taker getting ready to set out and embark on his journey. Coming in as your strength, Leo. Pretty excited about this, this change. Whatever this is you're waiting for. Love connection. Could be two of cups could be a job as well. It doesn't have to be a person. It doesn't have to be love every time. Okay. Also coming in as your strength, your ability to ten of wands, to end what feels like it's been a long journey. So Coming in as your strength, you're ending one journey, Leo. You're ending one journey, and you're getting ready to step into a brand new journey. And for some of you, this may be work and career related because here we have the Eight of Pentacles showing up attached to it, which is a work-related energy. I'm striving to become the best at what it is I do. I'm channeling in. I'm honing in my focus. All right, Leo, let's move over to the future. Tell us about the future energies for Leo, please. All right. Two energies, they came right out. They popped out together, Leo. So these are the energies that are connected to your future. You have Gemini energy that just showed up so some of you may be you may be waiting around for a gemini in your life lover's card uh soulmate connection coming together in union it's coming in attached to the ace of swords so look moving forward in the future if i'm willing to take a chance if i'm willing to confront whatever this is that i'm unable to see in my life and i can take this leap of faith just like she is here on this the image on this card She's reaching down to cup the chin of the lion, right? It could snap at her, right? It's a fearsome animal. She's taking a chance, and she knows that she's taking a chance. But when she does it and she's successful with it, it fuels her. It fuels her. It inflames her. It says, look, I did that. Now bring me more. It's giving you a whole new perspective, a whole new perspective on this lover's card. So, look, what does the lover's card represent? It could be a relationship. It could be a brand new relationship coming in for you. It could be an existing relationship that you're already in. It could also represent the energy for some of you of, an, of a job, of being able to actually land this job. And what helps me land this job is I took a chance. Right? And I changed my perspective. I took on a new outlook in life. Maybe my new outlook was, look, I, I'm overcoming the fear. Or maybe my new outlook is, 
I don't need to see everything ahead of me in order for me to feel good about it, to make choices, to make progress. Let's move down to suggested approach for you, Leo. Suggested approach. Suggested approach for Leo, please. Too many energies there, Leo. Suggested approach for Leo, please. Scorpio energy just showed up. Some of you may be connected to a Scorpio. So the death card represents uh, the energy of, of an ending. You know, the inscription on the headstone is written in Latin, but translated it says, life has changed, not taken. Um, so some of you, and this won't apply to all of you, but some of you being encouraged to put an ending to something. Let's clarify. Tell us more about Scorpio's energy for Leo, please. Why is this death card showing up? more about this death card please ten of Pentacles so Leo what I feel like you're in the energy of put of bringing an end to or what's being suggested to you is you got to overcome this energy of scarcity right of feeling like I don't have enough and Leo keep in mind right Opening energy, taking us into your tarot reading today. What it, what what came to us? Prosperity, right? So many times, prosperity is just a state of mind. So, I feel like this is what you're bringing an ending to, right? I'm bringing an ending to this state of mind that I have of, I don't have enough, that I'm in this energy of scarcity, right? And when I bring an ending to it, I'm able to feel and I'm able to recognize the abundance that's in my life. And how do I feel this? You know, maybe I make a list of my grat gratitude list and I just start listing everything in my life that I feel I, I should be grateful for. And look, you can have a lot of abundance, a lot of material abundance. You can have a little bit of material abundance. I promise you that list, if you're thorough, it's going to be a long list, Leo. Right. And to recognize and to feel that abundance in your life is like, yeah, I'm abundant because I feel abundant. What it is you need to know. Tell us what Leo needs to know, please. You got changes coming, Leo. Chariot card coming in. So Cancer just showed up. For those of you that are connected to a Cancer, let's clarify. Please clarify the Chariot card for Leo. I don't want to say act as if, Leo, act as if. So even if you're in the energy of, you know, feeling, you know, some scarcity in your life, act as if, act as if you're living a life full of abundance. Okay, attached to the chariot card, we have the king of swords coming in. So king of swords is I've arrived at my truth. Um, air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So arriving at my truth and my truth tells me there's changes coming in for you. And I feel like if you're Leo, you know these changes are coming. How do I how do I know that? Look at this illumination taking place around his head. Opening energy taking us into your reading. What are you waiting around for? I'm waiting for these changes to come in. And they're coming. Hopes and fears for Leo, please. Please tell us about Leo's hopes and fears. Ten of Swords. I need to bring an ending to the scarcity completely. Replacing scarcity with ten of pentacles with abundance. I need to feel like I'm enough if I'm Leo. And Leo, you are enough. Bring in the ending. Right? Ten of swords, judgment. So these are the two energies coming in attached to your hopes and fears. I just need to, I need to get rid of the energy of judgment. right? And when does judgment come in? When I feel like I'm not enough or when I feel like I don't have enough. 
those are energies of judgment because now I have opinions, right? This is what I'm bringing in ending to right here. Both these energies coming in attached to your hopes. Maybe you have to bring this ending in and allow this judgment to pass, right? Maybe before this connection comes together for some of you. Let's look at the potential future. Tell us about potential future for Leo, please. Justice could be a court ruling. Um, could be a legal matter for some of you that, that you know, and maybe that for some of you this could be a legal matter. It's just hanging over your head and it's been hanging over your head for a little while. And I just, I wanted to end with this Ten of Wands journey. I'm ready for the Ten of Swords, right? I'm ready for the Death card. Ready to finalize things. Um, fairness and balance. Libra energy for those of you that are connected to Libra. Please clarify the Justice card for Leo. King of Pentacles coming in attached to the Justice card. So both these energies are coming in attached to your future. Justice card, like I said, it could be a legal ruling. It's fairness and balance that's showing up for you, right? And what this fairness and balance is bringing you is the King of Pentacles energy. So if I've been in this energy of scarcity, of not feeling like I have enough, I feel like it's this legal ruling that comes in, judgment call of some sort, that comes in that now I can feel abundance, I can feel stability, I feel security in my life. Let's clarify this justice card. I gotta know a little more. Please clarify justice for Leo. Six of Cups. Somebody from your past, possibly coming back either somebody or something from your past coming back that brings you justice, a ruling that gives you the opportunity to feel stable, to feel secure, to feel your value, to feel your worth, could be connected to this relationship. Right? Lover's card right here could be connected to two of cups relationship as well. It could be a job opportunity. This could be love. This could be romance. Um, you know, whoever or whatever this energy is that's coming in from the past, it brings you abundance. You know what I mean? The energy or the person's energy, when you're with them, you feel light on your feet. You feel like, I just want to have some fun in life. Wow, Leo, I love your tarot reading here. So much so that I'm going to do an extended tarot reading for those of you that are resonating with these energies and you want to know more. You can follow me over to Vimeo where I'm going to do the make the extended tarot reading for Leo available. Uh, where do I want to get some clarification, Leo, in the extended tarot reading? I do a trailer that kind of goes through and explains it, but I want to clarify awaiting results. Um, opening energy taking you into your reading. I also want to clarify the moon card, Cancer, Pisces energy. I want to clarify the two of cups. I want to clarify the lovers, Gemini's energy. I want to clarify your energy connected to your past, strength card. I want to clarify Scorpio's energy, the death card. I want to clarify the King of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, King of Love. I want to clarify the Ten of Swords, something coming to an ending. I feel like it's the energy of scarcity. It's also judgment. Um, and then Leo, I want to clarify the Six of Cups energy or somebody from your past coming back bringing in fairness balance and justice this this is what many of you are in the energy of waiting for right now and i feel like it comes through and it comes through in the month of may so thank you so much for being here i hope these energies are resonating with each and every one of you look if you're interested in getting a personal tarot reading it's like yeah you're tapped in you're connected to my energy i want to know more about my life Send me an email at tree of life tarot, the number nine at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you and schedule a time to work on your personal tarot reading. We can talk about you and your life and what's happening in your life. Okay, Leo, wishing you all the very best. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. If you're not Leo and you're here, thank you for being here. I hope you're here checking up on a Leo, or maybe you're just intuitively guided to be here. Regardless, thank you for being here. Okay, I'll see the rest of you over at Vimeo. You can. You can click over to Vimeo by scanning below this tarot reading and clicking on the, the highlighted link there that's called Vimeo Leo's May Extended Tarot Reading. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. Have a great day.